every waterfall begins with one drop. So here I am, one drop, trying to get the water flowing. And the objective is nothing short of tapping into organizing powers of intelligence that can reshape our world. I've seen what these organizing powers of intelligence are capable of, and I am blown away and inspired by what humans can accomplish when we come together and tap into a higher calling. That's how we can come to life and feel reborn, when we are connected to a meaning and calling greater than ourselves. Part of this objective is shaped by a disconnect I feel from the forces shaping our nation with a calling that does not live up to the power of possibility America has called us to become. Surely the best side of us can win the race for our future through organizing powers of intelligence and transformation, not organizing powers of ignorance and self-destruction. It doesn't take any kind of genius to see we are living in precarious times. New civil war levels of hostility have infected our politics, while World War III levels of animosity are eroding the relations between nuclear superpowers. I was raised in a fundamentalist Christian church teaching we are in the end times and that the worst within us, the Antichrist, will set us all against each other with the battle of Armageddon, our fate. The world's salvation only coming after destruction. I never could relate to their guidebook, the Bible, with the chapter of Revelation serving as prophecy for unavoidable human failure. I longed for a better vision, where we succeed and found that in Star Trek, only later discovering their vision for the future is bleak too, with World War III erupting in 2026. The difference though I found between Star Trek canon and the Bible is many Christians believe Revelation can't be changed, where I don't know a single Star Trek fan who seriously believes we can't change the future and rewrite another timeline where we build a future and a starship without the world war. I've been hearing a lot about Project 25 in the news lately, connected to Trump's plan to make America great again. After studying this plan, I'm very alarmed by its objectives of breaking down the walls that make America great a secular foundation with a clear separation of church and state, while seeking to empower religious extremists in our society who want to put nationalism on steroids and fan flames of religious conflicts around the world, declaring America a Christian nation. This has motivated me to create a much more desirable alternative, a fellowship revolving around Star Trek and a new project, which I call Project 2035. If we tap into the power of possibility Star Trek teaches us about, there is nothing I believe we can't do together when organizing powers of intelligence guide our efforts to build the kind of world that works for everyone. And this vision dovetails with the power of possibility America has been known for tapping Americans into for over a century, with progressive evolution leading us into higher levels of consciousness, enlightenment, and dreams. This has been the case for me, inspired by the film industry, electronics industrial complex, and space race, awakening higher levels of intelligence within, with the overview effect helping me see Earth as it really is, a single organism, one planet, indivisible, that transcends the man-made fiction of borders. This enlightened vision shows us that America isn't a place, it's an indestructible idea born from this place we call home that also gave us Star Trek, a vision of the future where humankind becomes enlightened, no longer wasting time fighting each other, but uniting into a type one spacefaring global civilization, our energies freed up to explore, never again to fight ourselves in another world war. Project 2035 begins with an Earth Pledge consciousness, born from America and the progressive evolution that has brought us to this privileged vantage point Project 2035 is all about a secular foundation with organizing powers of intelligence and transformation in us, transcending organizing powers of ignorance and destruction. The electronics industrial complex will win over the military industrial complex with the revelation. Exploring is superior. 
Imagine if we could convert our ICBMs designed to deliver nuclear weapons that kill billions into rocket ships to explore the stars and inspire billions, like imagined in Star Trek First Contact. This Star Trek group I dream of creating will be about attracting world citizens who pledge allegiance to the Earth for Project 2035 because of America and what its highest calling represents, tapping into the power of possibility, which is a hallmark of Star Trek. And America gave us Star Trek. And Project 2035, we lay out the groundwork to take us into our highest calling with superpowers joining forces to explore, not destroy each other with nuclear war. The roadmap to get there may not be agreed upon by everybody, and it may not even work at every level of detail, but at least we can begin with the vision, a united federation of nations bringing humanity together, where like in Star Trek, infinite diversity and infinite combinations is our greatest strength, not weakness. And our roadmap may even lead to great disappointments along the journey. But if we keep our dedication to the destination, we can always rearrange the goalposts every time we are met with a failure. What I hope to do in Spaceship Earth Crew Fellowship of Trek is find an alternative to the fellowship I grew up with. I was raised in a church that revolved around Bible study but since this guidebook for our future is something I never agreed with, I want to find a new guidebook, not taken entirely literally like the last chapter of Revelation. World War III is not a prophecy we can't change. It's a warning that can motivate us to prevent it. Rewriting the timeline of Star Trek without any fear of divine retribution. We don't have any kind of holy scripture to bind this group together. Instead, we have only over 900 episodes of Star Trek, along with 13 feature films and countless novels and fan fictions and video games. So every week I want to explore an episode of Star Trek and analyze its ideas in connection with our lives and the ideals of Project 2035. And along the way, I want to create my own guidebook, a Spaceship Earth Crew Fellowship of Trek book with listings and descriptions of every episode, every movie, every novel, and every video game of Star Trek to eventually be placed alongside every Bible and every hotel room in America as alternative to what I grew up with that hasn't inspired us to tap into the power of possibility capable of changing a disturbing future with one that inspires us all, where nuclear weapons rust in peace and we get to a beautiful heavenly united world without needing to go through a hellish nightmare first. I want Christians to no longer blindly believe in a white Jesus who serves a fascist father, but to believe in a Star Trek man of color Jesus, closer to the reality of what the historical Jesus must have looked like, and who sees every human as a crew member of Spaceship Earth, destined to join the United Federation of Nations with Earth first over America first, or any nation, in order to make Earth great for the first time ever. And his objective is to unite our humanity so we can explore rather than fight world war. The religious might resonate with to seek out a relationship that will bring us closer to knowing more fully the mind of God, or what secularists would call the mind of the cosmos. And this means we will see wonders out there beyond our wildest imaginations and dreams, while meeting other beings of other worlds that will challenge our human-centered consciousness with a more expansive galactic consciousness. This is the highest calling of America. And this is the highest calling of Star Trek, if we take its ideas seriously. I'm just starting out small here, but hoping to begin a waterfall with your help. I have this setting I'm going to occupy every week and perhaps broadcast online by myself until I get some crew members here to join me in my presentation. Thank you all for tuning in. More to come soon.